Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. Let me show you where it's snowing right now. Around Tahoe, we've seen off and on snow today. This is Mount Rose. And this is the same storm system that's moving into the west coast that's also sending overrunning snow into the Tetons. And here's Jackson Hole, really winding things down now. Uh, we're going to see some drier air moving in overnight, so that'll cut things off. We may still see a few more snow showers, but um, they're reporting 8 inches in the last 48 hours there at Jackson Hole. Let me show you my headlines, and then we'll get into this. So now what happens? Well, uh, the Wasatch are going to get, uh, we'll get some light snow. I'm not expecting anything major, maybe four or five inches around Alta and Snowbird, but that's probably it. That happens tomorrow on 11-7. And then that batch of snow with a cold front hits Colorado, and we're talking light to moderate accumulation, 11-8 and 11-9, close to the Continental Divide and east. I'll show you that pattern coming up. And then looking down the road, this is fairly exciting if this holds together. This is going to be a big pattern change. We'll get some brief high pressure ridging, probably around 11, 11 or 11, 12. And then this, this like bowling ball area of um, low pressure anomalies, a big trough, in other words, a big dip in the jet, will move into the west coast, California. It'll, it'll start in the Pacific Northwest BC and drop all the way down into California. 11.13 to probably 11.16, maybe even 11.17. But this has got colder air. It's got significant jet support, and it's going to involve the subtropical jet, and then this will spread through the interior. So that's this this could be a, it could be sizable. So we'll see. All right, let me go back, and uh, let me see what else we want to cover here. So I want to show you what this looks like on the uh, the satellite perspective here. So this is this is uh, water vapor. So oranges and reds, drier air aloft. Whites and blues represent your moisture. There's our area of low pressure moving onshore right now. That is why, let me just mark it, we're seeing the snow in Tahoe and we're seeing the overrunning snow in the Tetons. Same storm that'll run, it's more of a glancing blow or brush across the Wasatch and then that front will move into Colorado, 11.8 and 11.9. So that's really the pattern right now. Um, you can see everything um, is sort of coming out of this particular area up here. And that's where our next big weather change is going to come, um, 11 11 13 to 11 16 11 17 somewhere right in there um, let me show you what this is going to look like right now this is the uh, the forecast radar and satellite so that's what's happening right now as i move this ahead notice things do start to dry out by tomorrow morning and the tetons the snow's moving down this at this point through the wasatch during the day and then that front ends up in colorado by late uh, tomorrow night into the morning of 11 8 so this is 11 8 notice uh, what's happening in colorado uh, front flares up, start to get a little bit of ore graphics and some snow there during the day on 11 8 and even 11 9. This is the morning of 11 9. Uh, maybe a couple of rain or snow showers down in Denver, but most of the snow is right on top of the Continental Divide, tilting down to the east. There'll be some spillover in Summit County and Vail as well. And then that whole front drops down into southern Colorado. We'll see snow through uh, the wet mountains and the sand grays, and especially on that tilting on that east side of those ranges. But look how dry it is across uh, most of the west waiting on the next storm system and here it comes 11 uh, late 11 9 and 11 10 mainly into the pacific northwest and bc and let's move into the 11th look up to the pacific northwest and bc that's the next big storm system the one that's going to come south all the way into california and become a player let me show you how this works as far as the jet stream so here we are on 11 8 this is the storm at this point you can see the dip over nevada California, Utah. That's the storm that's going to drag a cold front through Colorado, 11.8 and 11.9. Let me show you way down the road. 11.15. Look at the dip in the jet stream. This means business. If this happens, colder air pours in. You've got jet support, some more graphics, not only in California, but across the interior. And here's how it plays out with the numbers. So this is through 11.9. Very light accumulations. Colorado could see two to eight inches mainly on the divide and east. Summit County could do okay. And then that uh, snow drops down into southern Colorado. Um, let me take you further further down the road. This is gonna jump out to you. So this is this is potential. Potentially what could happen if we see that, that large trough move in from the Pacific Northwest dropping all the way down into California. You've got cold air, or graphics, 
I mean, everything appears to be in place. We could have big totals. And then that would progress into the interior, into Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado as time moves on. You know, again, this could this could continue into 1116 and even 1117 through those interior states. So a lot to look forward to down the road. Um, that's going to do it for this update. Always appreciate you guys tuning in here. Take care.